Every with the flick winding down. American Crime Story, the people versus O.J. Simpson. I'm going to miss this show when it's gone. Episode 9, Man from Heaven, Alonzo Duraldi, Sam Shocker from uh, Pop Trigger joining us today. Uh, okay, of a show filled with moments that are my favorite moment. This, wait, this this episode was one of your favorites? F. Lee Bailey giving this, the, talking to the Carolina judges. I know. <laughs> That was amazing. Yes. And do we know how accurate that was? Because I did look that that did happen uh -huh. like, to the point where was that his speech? I have no idea. And I don't care. Like there, there, are, there are points in the show where like, did it happen? Did it not happen? I don't care. That, and, and just but the, the look on Cochran's face right? when he gives that corn pone like anti-mame speech. And it's just like, and I could totally buy that happening. I could totally 100%. see. 100%. Because, you know, could you take Cochran outside of Los Angeles and especially into the deep south? Mm -hmm. That is not playing. No, not at all. You and don't you play here. The, yeah. You're right, and you saw the realization in his face. <laughs> First, he was stunned uh, by the suggestion of it, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. And then when he understood the reality of it, when it was denied, then when, when he, he watches watched it play the out. speech, you were like, I mean, he had the, re the, the reaction that we did, except I was like, oh my God, this is amazing, right? <laughs> Like, are you even kidding I me with know. this? I know, and yeah, that was mm. one of my favorite moments. And then the <laughs> moment where we saw the, the mounting tension between Darden mm. and Cochran, yeah. and then it explode. And I was like, was it really that explosive? I looked it up. And? And it was. Oh, wow. Mm. I didn't watch the, I was too young to like really follow the trial. I was mm. definitely aware of like all the hoopla and the circus, and of course, O.J. Simpson. But I didn't know like the facts and those details, sure. so I did look it up to see how explosive their exchange was. Now they had two exchanges. The first altercation was, I guess, uh, they had exaggerated it on the show. The uh -huh. second one, where Judge Ito had said, "Take three deep breaths and all of that. I'm mm -hmm. holding you in contempt." That happened. Wow. That okay. happened. And then even uh, Sarah Paulson, Marsha Clark, she really did say, "I'm I'll threaten to take off her jewelry and go." Wow. She really did that. That's badass. Phew. She is a boss. Totally. Yeah. No, I, I. I mean, I was. Uh, I'm older than you, but I was not like one of the people who was who was glued in every day, like it was my soap. So yeah, a lot of these these moments I don't necessarily remember. So interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I learned so much about lawyering from this show. Right. The big one being if if you have a, a witness who pleads the fifth, ask him the most damning question possible and have him not answer it, and let the, the, the jury just soak that in. Yeah. Because then it's kind of like he's convicting himself by yeah. not at, by not standing up for himself. Well, because here's the thing, though, and another a lawyer thing I learned from other movies is that if you take the fifth, you have to take the fifth all the way. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, well, you don't have to, but it, it becomes fishy. In other words, like, like if you answer certain questions and other ones you plead the fifth, then the ones you aren't answering, obviously, you're guilty. Right. It, it, the the smart thing to do is to blanket like not talk about anything. But the way to exploit that is to then do what they did and ask that very damning question, have him continue to take the fifth and be like, all right, no further questions. He is such a piece of shit. Aye. He is such a piece of shit. Like, whoa. So I again, I was like, how big of a piece of shit is he? So mm. then I looked it up, and of course, he's a horrible racist. <laughs> now, after that happened, he was convicted of perjury, obviously, right. because he did use the N-word, and he had said under oath that he did didn't, it. Yeah. Um, so he was convicted of perjury. He was sentenced to three months probation and $200 fine. Mm. Ooh -wee. But then it did launch this investigation, right? Because right. they wanted to look into all of his accounts. And what they found, apparently, after this long, lengthy investigation into the LAPD, what they found was that there were gross exaggerations, but mm. that he was still a racist prick. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and again, I think one of the themes of this show that, that, that comes out and 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 it, again like I, I watch watching a million shows for what the flick and they they tend to parallel at times it, it, oddly enough with Daredevil and the NYPD the idea of if a police department uh, busts enough innocent people then the time is going to come where they aren't going to be reliable to bust a guilty person wow. You know, yeah, yeah. and it's kind of that boy who cried wolf thing, right, you know. Right, right. And so if you can, and so the, you know, OJ's defense team very wisely kind of presents the LAPD as a racist institution, even though OJ himself was very chummy with the police and had wealth and celebrity that sort of blocked him from being treated like a run-of-the-mill, you know, Los Angeles black person would be treated mm -hmm. by the cops. Nonetheless, if you can cast enough doubt on the institution itself. Right. Bam. And that represented uh, a narrative out there, right? Yeah. So a lot of people that were watching and rooting for O.J. Simpson, they made it personal. And so sure. therefore they wanted him to be, you know, freed. And um, also how crazy was it to the, the other moment that stands out to me is when you see 
um, O.J. Simpson realized when he's taking off like his 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 court clothes, putting on his jail suit, and realizing uh -huh. that he's about to get away with murder. Right. And then you see Robert Kardashian. Kardashian. Oh. His face. He's like you can just see how puzzled and conflicted he is. Like wow, uh, he's uh, about to get away with it. But then his friends celebrating. And how do you yeah. communicate that? And I thought he did a great job. No, he's he's the the surprise secret weapon of this show. Because at first it was like. Between the wig and the fact that it was David Schwimmer and all the references to Kimmy's room and stuff, like ugh, with the Kardashians. <laughs> but no, Robert Kardashian turns out to be kind of the 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 conscience of this show uh, of somebody who loves this guy and believes in him and finds that belief being eroded away to an extent where it's like shit. Do I want him to get away with it? And what part have I played in the exoneration of this guy, who I think quite possibly now may be a murderer because. There's no one's offering me an alternative narr an alternative narrative that makes any sense. And that's what's so strong about it. But you're absolutely right to describe him as the conscience because here's somebody that was a diehard supporter of his friend, right? He Uncle totally, Juice. <laughs> he, he totally <laughs> believed him. Yes. And then to see him being, um, I don't even want to say swayed, but to see him change his mind because of the facts sure. really does showcase how the facts were hard facts and that he should have been convicted. convicted. No. Um, I'm trying to think what else stood out to me because there's so many good moments in that show last night that I'm sad that it's starting to like come to an end. I know, and I, you know, I can't, what other American crime stories are there to tell that are gonna be nearly this riveting? I mean, I'll, I'll be and, fascinated to see how they follow this up. And, and like a full on soap opera too. Sure. Like it's one thing to have it be riveting and it's another thing to like really like, to the point to where you have to fact check, mm -hmm. like to the point where I'm like, did that really happen? And then you're just blown <laughs> Away, Holy crap, it did? Yes. I mean, it's unbelievable. And also, back to uh, David Schwimmer, uh, Robert Kardashian. What did Robert Kardashian really do? I mean, th this isn't me, like, throwing shade by any means, but what he, was he, he doing he, on that? He was an attorney. But like, what did he do? Just I, moral support? I think, in a way, kind of, yeah. I mean, I don't think this, that, I don't think criminal law was necessarily his, his area of expertise. I think he was just sort of there as a as a familiar face, as a as a as a booster in a weird way. You like know? an image booster, knowing that that they were friends, but he was also friends with Nicole, uh, and then they were that. But I think I mean, just for for OJ himself, okay. like just as somebody that he could count on, that he would see on a regular basis, and feel you know good about just knowing that he was part of the the dream team. There, yeah, because he know? never really has any input, <laughs> nor Not does really. he ever. Speak up during the trial, which I get. It's yeah, because it's Cochran. yeah, and, and or, or Shapiro, you know. And we talked about that. I love Shapiro now. That I oh love John god, Travolta. he's so good in this. I in the beginning I was like, mm, I'm not feeling yet, John Travolta. I'm sorry, I love you. I'm a yeah. huge John Travolta fan. Um, but now I'm I'm fully appreciating his performance. Yeah. I buy it. It, it. it 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 snuck up on me, but definitely, and it was nice to get a little little Cheryl Ladd this week. I've been missing her on the yes, show. Yes, I so. know. <laughs> so can I ask you because when we first did this, I. If I remember, now that we've done nine episodes, sure. it's starting to be like murky and all in one. <laughs> but did you, you weren't sold in the beginning. That, it took me a couple episodes. I remember at first I was thinking, it, it all struck, it struck me as a Saturday Night Live sketch. But I think part of this story is that it is, there is so much absurd about it that there's no way to tell it without getting into that level of absurdity as well. And I think that, that Karaszewski and Alexander are the perfect guys to do this adaptation because they have this gift for taking true stories, you know, Ed Wood and People vs. Larry Flint and that kind of thing, and sort of, you know, presenting them at face value and be like, yeah, this was nuts, but it's a real thing. And, 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 and taking these sort of cultural eccentrics and drawing a larger story about the world and about how America works, you know, and they're certainly doing that in a in a in a very large canvas here. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned it on here. I the one thing that I really hope they at least kind of glancingly touch upon, like at the end of the finale, is that when the uh, when the civil suit happened, when yes. the Goldmans sued O.J. in civil court. Um, th that judge wisely, after this whole craziness, was like, no cameras in the courtroom. E did daily reenactments based on, they, they basically took the transcripts, gave them to these terrible actors, and they reenacted that day in the OJ civil trial. That's amazing in its own right. Yeah. That's Horrible. Bananas television. I don't know if any of it's on YouTube or whatever. I don't know if E even tries to pretend that ever that never happened, but it happened. Who it was the, a real thing. Who are the actors? Yes! Don't you want to talk to them? I totally want to talk to their, their, their the fake OJ. Can they OJ. come on here somehow? Yes. 
you know, I want to, did, did they give fake, like, you know, uh, Fred Goldman the mustache? I mean, I you know, know, so many questions. Oh, that's so good. I'm oh. going gonna, gonna, to, that's going to be my homework for today is looking that up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I want to find out more. So, yeah, amazing show. We're, we're down to one more. One so. more? I thought it was 12. No, no, no 10. No! 10! So, oh. uh, so, yeah, next week, hopefully, uh, bigger cast, but we're all, uh, we're sucked in. So, uh, join us for that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> No, that's...